back, everyone. We're back. And mm. let's see. It looks like we're going to be in Derry again. So this is Derry part two. Part two. And it's the other side of the river. It All is, right. It is the more touristy side it is of more the river. Touristy. So. Um, so I'm Daniel. And I'm Julia. And here we go. Um, what? I don't remember this slide. We just looked at this like five minutes ago. <laughs> so so this is just a little teeny bit of a recap. This is our side, the side that our hotel is on that we stayed on the most. Um, it's just a recap of of what that one end of the river looks like, of the bridge. Yeah. And I just needed to get a, a, a shot of the Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you. Um, um, so a bit let's, of an idea. Let's talk about yeah. where we are. So this is Derry. Um, mm -hmm. Nobody calls it London Derry. No, it's um, just dairy. It's dairy, right. Just dairy. Um, so this is our hotel way over here. This was the park that we played disc golf and had mm -hmm. fun, right? And so then everything we've shown you is over here. This is the cool bridge we're about to show you. That's the Peace Bridge. Yes. And over here, there's the Walled City. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Edwardson uh, Square is where we had a lot of that, that first picture, for instance, yes. is from there. Um, it is a little bit of an up and coming uh, touristy spot. You can kind of tell they had a few mm. shops and a few restaurants yeah. open. It, it's it, there's it lots of room swanky. for more. Um, I can see that whole area developing. Um, oh yeah, in the future. So but we're going to be looking at some things over here, and I didn't zoom in even further. But let's just head out. All right. So the Peace Bridge. Do you want to explain the what the peace, peace bridge was? What it represents? What it represented? I mean, I guess we do. Are we touching the troubles? How much are we going to talk well, about the troubles? Well, um, I mean, like, I, when people think of Northern Ireland, they I'm, do. Um, they tend to remember '90s Northern Ireland, which, um, as we know, thanks to um, you two and the cranberries, that it there was some troubling times then. Yeah. Um. And while it was a war, man, it was Hawaii a war. folks might not be too familiar, we might have been a little bit out of touch when it came to oh, that like part of the America world. Was. We just um, saw it on the news. There's a lot of uh, misconceptions that still exist, even though it's been nearly 30 years later. Yeah. So the so the Peace Bridge, that's what it's referencing. Um, what kind of helped end the agreement was that the EU kind of solved the problem in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. So if you were part of the UK at the time, this is in the 90s when it all kind of finally um, stopped, is the UK was part of this thing that was being created called the EU. And Ireland was part of the thing called the EU. So that meant that everyone, even French people, can work in, in Ireland, so why would it matter Mm -hmm. Also, because there's no checkpoints between different countries within the EU for EU passport holders, then it doesn't matter. We don't have to check who's which one. Yeah. So it's a free association. Um, and uh, it, it this uh, dairy itself cleared up a lot of misconceptions that even I had sure. about, um, about that time period. So moving on. Yeah. We'll, we'll touch on it. A we'll touch on it again. a little bit more. But the bridge is very beautiful, very, very interesting very beautiful. shape. It's more S shaped. Mm -hmm. Like if you were looking from the sky down, it winds. So this is us on on still kind of uh, our end, walking towards notice the Celtic the... pattern in Julia's headband. <laughs> I got it in Scotland. Sure, but I, I did. <laughs> I was there. Yes. Okay. Um. Uh, like, so, so really of course, one side of the there. bridge to the other side of the bridge. Right, we're just turning and looking across on the other. Just a little bit more, a little more views. It is beautiful. Absolutely perfect. Like, this doesn't even and You can just see that beautiful dairy what air. This is. That, that was one thing about dairy. Um, there was an aroma that would sometimes linger. Cows. And it, it was, was cows. cows. It was cows. I mean, and so dairy isn't spelled like dairy, but there were <laughs> our, farms. Our very little close joke to, is ah that dairy air. Yes, she didn't know I was going to tell it. Yes. <laughs> so, so we've made it to the other side. Yes. Yeah, so this this 
kind of shows the three things we did on the quote unquote touristy side of the island uh, of the island mm, yeah, that was the, of the river <laughs> I mean it is an island we but... didn't see Oliver but we were we were because not when we we're gonna be there but no. um we were pretty excited about it anyway so uh to your right there is a very interesting church so we were able to go in there and take pictures of a, a cool exhibit that they had. It's a church, but it's also a city it hall. Was it's like it's got a history of being all sorts yeah. of things. Now it is not a church. No, no. So they don't actively have... right now. It is not anymore. Historically, yeah. that's why it gets confusing. But currently, it is the city hall. Um. So if you can, if you see in the middle, there's that those white buildings with a little, with the with the bridge Please. next to it. That's the walled part of the walled yeah. city that is, we'll have. A small so, section of the so wall. Some it's some really pictures ancient of back there and. Um, the red brick and if and it's just red brick all the way down and you'll eventually get to a mall where we hung out at as well so these are of just kind of did. the three different things that we did so first the walled city the walled city so this was really neat they have little shops and eateries in the walled city they had jewelry shops they had shops for little just kids a little bit. yeah they have bookstores um as as you can see very it's different interior courtyards interior um setting that they had um, so there were murals everywhere. This was one of the things that um, oh, expressed a lot of their culture, I feel, were the murals. There was a mural on the opposite side of the street of the walled wall. There was a mural of the Dairy Girls uh, cast. Like the show. Of the cast, yeah. the show Dairy Girls, which takes place in the 90s, um, mm, if anybody's yes. interested in the history. Sure. Um, and But it was... It was just a little too chaotic for us to get to, so we were like, "We'll take a picture of, we'll take pictures of these murals, yes. which kind of more represent the actual like history of that goes further back than the, than oh. the troubles." So, so this is city hall. This is the city hall. Very what a beautiful. building, right? Huge. So on the way into it, they have these stained glasses that are all from different types of artisans and different groups that contributed monies to mm -hmm. the. Dedication, rededication, etc. Right, old buildings, lots of different activities. So this, oh, I think I this just, I think again. I, this is a bridge again. I but miss, it's still pretty, right? I miss like no, no apologies. They wanted to see this one. Yeah. Look how pretty it is. So, um, really quick, that was our side, by the way, of the, <laughs> the that's a shot of looking towards our side. So as you yes. can see, it's beautiful both sides. And of and course, this was literally turning around and taking picture right, of the, the bridge. the Oliver posters behind us at this point. Yeah, sorry, I, I, I meant to move this yeah, over, it and it, it didn't it move. It works. We're famous. <laughs> they all understand. So anyway, back to the right. Back we're to in the city, city hall, hall. and they um, had some beautiful pieces of artwork that were older than yeah. me. Is that a big deal yet? <laughs> not, not yet. Not quite yet. Not yet. It was. They had just some beautiful pieces of art. So obviously, this is like a so patchwork. They were telling the history of both. Northern Ireland as a whole, but really specifically what happened here. And it's a tough history. And they went way back. Yep. And, so, I mean, way back. Way, way, way back, as you can see. But anyway, so... so um, the, Did you want to touch on a little bit before we um, move on? It, it's just that the... Let's just say that the, the Troubles wasn't the only very dark, very bloody part of, of Derry's history yeah, they, a they number have of wars with the, their colonizers wars. and so by folk i think i think this is just my own mentalness here that by focusing on a more ancient history is this something that the um all four nations within the united kingdom kind of take a part in doing for their own culture so scotland has their ancient stuff wales has their ancient stuff and then so here right. is northern ireland with their ancient stuff this is part of the so, identity that yeah. wasn't colonized because just because you're white doesn't mean you weren't colonized so and they still are which is why i'm i am impressed with the amount of directness for i mean this is not the big city we're not in belfast right no. this is just a city mm -hmm. that is talking pretty directly about all of this kind of conflict and England being not good guys. They were so pretty honest about it. It, it was a, just a small little thing that they had we're in. Transitioning, in um, but yes, we are. So this is uh, the reason why we're back on the bridge again, which is probably the confusion, the is that this is a shot of the, um, like I said, the red uh, brick 
walls and that what that made up this on that side mall. and that was all the mall so the mall was crazy busy with kids so there weren't a lot of pictures so we basically got I a, think there picture, was like a, a picture a picture no, there were yeah so that was more there's stained, stained glass, glass even in the mall yeah so seriously like they aren't messing tell around. me that they're not catholic <laughs> i'll tell you they're not I mean, who knows? Maybe they're all Jews. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so lots of kids everywhere. So oh, that was the this was kind of the only shot we had. Right. Um, and then um, our last shot. Oh no, you're on top of. I oh, know. There, there I uh, there I am Let's just, just cruising. Move up here, you know? <laughs> um, so this is the gorgeous train station. Um, they're in Derry. Very open, very nice, very modern looking, honestly. Very modern looking. And it was, um, was it raining that day? I feel like it was. Uh, but it, we yes, were fine, obviously. Yes. So, uh, getting around the entire city, we basically caught their bus system, which was actually really good. Really good It bus got system. you across the river. Maybe riv- start wondering if we should move there. And everything like that. Um, it connects both sides, both the up and coming side and the more touristy historical side the more urban center um, yeah and uh it, it wasn't a long ride but once you, and once you're kind of in that urban area you can kind of just foot yes. everywhere else it's not really difficult at all um the train station was lovely the people there people in Derry were absolutely Fantastic. wonderful and they were all very eager from the gal who worked at um the premier the premier inn yeah, I guess they don't get too many people from keepers. Hawaii, you know? I mean, it's, they were it's all, a bit unexpected. Yeah, they were all really excited to share their history, especially when I'm like, I have, I'm have, i I'm Irish heritage, and this is this is. And like, then you said I'm a historian, I'm a, so yeah. they really went nuts. So, it, I mean, everybody was just very eager to share their so stories, which is great. this is the last great. slide, yeah? Yeah, so this all is right. the last slide. This so is wrapping think, up uh, Gary. I think that's all we have for you today. Yeah. So... Please enjoy, and until next time. Until next time. time.